on-demand storm tracker forecast time. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd. Our next weather maker is digging down into California. That's where the majority of the moisture is going, but some of this moisture will break off and then push into central and eastern Idaho and then bump up right against the Montana-Idaho state line from Manita Pass towards the West Yellowstone area. That could be a very hazardous travel area as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday. So again, you can see a lot of bright red and orange on this map. Uh, Central Northern California really getting uh, hit hard with some much needed moisture. But there's this secondary little area, this little bullseye across Central Idaho, pushing into Eastern Idaho and Western Wyoming. So this is good news because West Yellowstone, the West Gate anyway, in West Yellowstone, the Yellowstone National Park, has only seen a little over a foot of snow throughout the month of January. That's the lowest on record, so that's a little on the shy side. You're not likely going to stay here because I expect to see the potential for maybe one to two feet of snow headed your way as we go through the next five to seven days. So that's what our future cast is showing. A lot of cloud cover, milder air, but just a steady stream of moisture pushing right up against the Montana Idaho state line. It's gonna have a little impact on the rest of Southwest Montana. So if you're traveling, look at the snow potential as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and as this model stops early Friday morning, uh, and it, Keep in mind, it's going to continue to snow throughout the day Friday, possibly into Saturday and Sunday. So these values are likely to go up, but you're looking at around a foot uh, in the Dubois area through Friday morning, up to one to two feet around Island Park, eight to 12 inches around West Yellowstone, and around four to six inches in Cook City. So again, this area down here, right along the Montana-Idaho state line, including Manita Pass, uh, Reynolds Pass, Targi Pass, if you're trying to get to Idaho Falls, wow, that could be... Uh, Hazardous travel weather pattern. There are winter storm warnings up uh, from 11 a.m. Wednesday through 11 p.m. Friday, including the Island Park area, and lots of advisories roughly from Manita to Idaho Falls from 11 p.m. Tuesday to 5 a.m. on Friday. That's where the main storm is going to be. But for the rest of us, it looks like another cold night for Butte and a slightly warmer day tomorrow and mostly dry. Bozeman, 24-hour forecast, colding in tonight and about 33 tomorrow.